hello everyone in the previous video we studied about uh, migration and the different streams of migration so in this video we will study about uh, spatial variation migration and different causes of migration in terms of social economic and uh, environmental or other causes so let's start so spatial variation in migration uh, as you know that some states like uh, uh, developed uh, states in uh, terms of our country like Maharashtra, Delhi, Gujarat, Haryana they attract migrants from other states such as uh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Chhattisgarh so Maharashtra occupied first place with uh, uh, first place with 2.3 million net in migrants that is almost uh, 23 lakh uh, people migrate uh, from different area to Maharashtra then followed by Delhi, Gujarat and Haryana. So on the other hand, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, they are the states which has largest number of out migrants from the state. So why uh, and uh, in uh, terms of urban migration, Greater Mumbai, uh, that is also part of Maharashtra, received the highest number of uh, mig uh, migrants. So these uh, type of migration are interstate migration. So these uh, differences are largely due to the size of state in which these uh, urban agglomerations are located. So why are the causes of migration and uh, what are the factors uh, why uh, so many people are migrating from one state to another are uh, we are going to study in our next uh, topic that is causes of migration. So uh, as you know that people are generally emotionally attached to their uh, place of birth. Uh, you might be noticed that uh, almost all the people uh, keep on praising their uh, birthplace and uh, they always feel uh, secure uh, over there so but uh, still millions of people have to leave their uh, birth, uh, place of birth and residence this could uh, there could be many reasons like push factor and pull factor so in the previous book uh, in the last book that is uh, human geography I have told you about uh, these two factor that is push and pull factor means one factor uh, push factor that causes people to leave their place of residence like uh, for example uh, in uh, comparison of rural and urban areas uh, push factor works in rural areas uh, to leave uh, their place of residence whereas pull f uh, factor attracts the people from di different uh, places that is for urban areas because uh, because uh, they can be uh, of uh, better infrastructure facility, better health care facility, education facilities and uh, many uh, reasons like poverty can be or uh, fact, factor of uh, rural to urban migration. So apart from these factors, uh, there are some natural disaster factors also like uh, people living in the uh, mostly in the eastern coast of uh, our country. Uh, and they are prone to the uh, flood, uh, draft, uh, draft uh, cyclonic uh, storms, earthquake, tsunamis. Uh, so because this natural uh, factor also play their role in the pushing factor. So on the uh, contrary, pull factors attract people from uh, different areas for better opportunities and availability of regular work and higher wages and better opportunity for education health health facili facilities so these are some important uh, pull factor so in uh, terms of uh, male and female migration uh, there can be different reason that is uh, male uh, migration uh, the uh, major uh, contribution for ma uh, male migration is uh, work or employment because uh, they migrate for uh, search of um, work or migration uh, for uh, mostly for work and uh, for female uh, it can be because of uh, marriage uh, to 65% uh, females move out from their parental house because of their marriage where there is uh, exception in India that is Meghalaya uh, in Meghalaya So in Meghalaya, there is a reverse case that is uh, male uh, people move after marriage uh, to uh, female's place and uh, may, uh, 
male in our country after uh, migration uh, migrate uh, that is only 2% in our country as uh, compared to women th and they compare of uh, 65% so what are the consequences of migrations so there can be different uh, con uh, consequences of migrations uh, and it is mainly responsible for uneven distribution of opportunities over space means or different areas so people tend to move from place of low opportunity and low safety to the place of higher opportunity and better safety so this create both a benefit and problem for the areas people migrate from and from migrate to so these consequences can be observed through social economical cultural political and demographic uh, terms so let's uh, study them uh, first is economic uh, consequences so a major benefit for the source reason is the remittance sent by the migrants so remittance uh, is a money that is sent uh, by the people from uh, uh, people from a different area to uh, other area or for, from their source area or from their place of residence or place of birth for example if um, people are living in uh, usa or uh, european countries uh, uh, that is an indian citizen like nris and overseas indians if they send a uh, money uh, to indians that is uh, known as a remittance so in uh, that is in terms of international remittance uh, there is also uh, internal uh, remittances that is within uh, a country but that money is uh, very negligible as comparison to uh, international uh, remittances so so remittances from international migrants are the major source of foreign exchange uh, and uh, in 2002 india received almost 11 billion dollar 11 billion us dollar remittances from international migrants and uh, the states which have uh, received maximum number of remittances uh, includes punjab kerala tamil nadu so they have more number of international uh, migrants so the amount of remittance sent by internal migrants is very rare as i already told you as comparison to international migrants but still it's play important role in growth of economy of the source area so remittances are mainly used for uh, food repayment of debt treatment marriage children education agriculture inputs and other household activities so for thousands of poor villages of bihar and uttar pradesh uh, states like uh, haryana uh, punjab and uttar pradesh uh, with the uh, start of green revolution uh, people from bihar and uttar pradesh uh, uh, migrated to this state uh, for uh, for better uh, work opportunities so uh, because they get their higher wages uh, there so for uh, green revolution success migration uh, migrant of uh, bihar and uttar pradesh has also played their uh, role in the success of green revolution so next is a uh, demographic con uh, consequences so uh, as you know that uh, migrate migration leads to de uh, redistribution of population within a country that is uh, rural urban migration is a uh, important factor contributing the population growth of cities so means uh, uh, they they create imbalances in age and age and sex composition in uh, these state and uh, next is a uh, social consequences so migrants act as a agent of social change so new idea related to new technologies so uh, what migrants leads they leads to intermixing of uh, people from diverse cults, culture that is uh, for example if a person uh, migrate from uh, punjab to haryana or punjab to southern india their culture also mixed up so it has positive contribution uh, as well as a negative contribution for uh, because uh, positive contri uh, contribution <laughs> both the culture learn some new things from uh, their uh, their mutual culture and uh, some negative culture like if uh, uh, they are a situation of anonymity that is uh, people are uh, hard uh, hard to identify their ident uh, identity because in city uh, or in urban life mostly people are busy in their uh, work or in their activities 
so they they are not socially connected as compared to rural area so because of this dejection people fall in trap of anti social activities like crime and drug abuse and uh, next is environmental consequences so as you know that uh, or crowding crowding of people has put pressure on exi- existing uh, social and physical infrastructure in urban areas so this uh, leads to unplanned growth of urban settlement and formation of uh, slums and shanty colonies and uh, all, uh, this also face acute problem of depletion of ground water air pollution and uh, d- uh, difficult to manage sewage and solid waste and there are some other factors also uh, like uh, when male uh, migrants move from uh, one area to others it put extra uh, physical and mental pr- uh, pressure on uh, women and uh, because of uh, uh, migration from uh, highly skilled level uh, to the source of their place uh, it left that source uh, underdeveloped as comparison to underdevelopment as comparison to migrated place so they are the old reason for the migration in our country so thank you children